friends welcome to my workplace for hands on FACO and SICS training. This is a one eyed patient, this is the only seeing eye and he has this hard cataract. I have done harder cataracts with FACO emulsification technique in many cases, but this patient is having only one eye and I could not take the risks of fake emulsification in this case. So, my plan is to do extra capsular cataract extraction, manual technique and in this case my plan is what I call double SICS means two SICS wounds are adjacent to each other and only one suture is needed at the apex of the two SICS wounds at the junction of the two SICS wounds. This is one SICS wound and this is the other one. It is 5 plus 5, 10 millimeter wound. Yes, it is a large incision and it is a very safe technique for very hard cataracts. The right depth all around from one side to the other side and then making the sclerocorneal tunnel. Two SICS wounds adjacent to each other gives the V shipped appearance of the wound. And now as we do as we do sclerocorneal tunnel in SICS, the same way sclerocorneal tunnel is done. When we go to the right side, the contour of the eyeball when we go to the left side, the contour of the eyeball has to be kept in mind and the crescent blade has to be tilted accordingly. So, now is the time to make a side boot and make an adequate sized rexis. This is the side boot and air bubble is injected, tripan blue dye is applied over the capsule. This is a bit of adrenaline. The dye is now washed out and there is a nice staining of the capsule just by 12 to 15 seconds of adherence. And now I am going to do the rexis with the help of a cystitome, a 26 gauze bent needle. I started the rexis. With utrita forceps control is more, but with needle we can manage rexis in most of the cases. The rexis is adequate, but if given a second chance, I would do a larger rexis little larger. And now the tunnel is opened from one end to the other end. We must cut when we go forward. During forward movement only we cut the tissue.
Now hydro dissection is done. The nucleus is stacked. The nucleus is huge. It did not come out of the capsular bag by hydro dissection. So, after injecting visco, I take two hooks and the nucleus is dialed out of the capsular bag. Visco is applied over and under the nuclear mass. And now a fish hook is being used to deliver the nucleus. The fish hook goes 90 degree rotation and it is taken out. Huge nucleus. And now lot of lens matter is there inside. Just by irrigation, most of the loose matter comes out. And now go through the side port and remove the cortex. There is weak jonial and strong capsulocortical adhesions all around. So, I take time, give adequate time by tangential pool, I take the cortex out of the equator, out of the equator of the capsular bag. and all the cortical matter is removed. We have a large wound. The patient cannot afford costly intraocular lenses, but we have a very good intraocular lens in the economic category for SICS. That is polymethyl methacrylate rigid lenses. The lens that I am going to use is from Appa Sami Associates, a 6 millimeter optic Liberty lens. Very good optics. There are two dialing holes. I have no financial interest, but I am really grateful to Appa Sami Associates. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is placed by the Macpherson's forceps in the capsular bag. Since the lens is in the capsular bag, it will be very nicely centered and the patient will get very good vision if the retina macula is normal and I hope it is normal. And now is the time to place a suture at the junction of the two SICS wounds and that is at the apex of the V shaped incision. The suture should not be very tight, just the tissue should be nicely opposed. And this suture will take care of the astigmatism. There will be no induced astigmatism 
because of this suture, just one suture. And now, a uh, releasable suture to oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus. And only one releasable suture is required because there is a radial cut at the right end of the peritomy where we start the peritomy, we give a small radial cut. At that point, we place the releasable suture with 10 O nylon. And this is lavage of the anterior chamber to to take out all the visco molecules this is a minimally edited video and you are not missing anything only the period of inactivity has been eliminated this is bimanual irrigation aspiration for a removal of visco. This is moxifloxacin. The side port is closed. The chamber is formed. And the pressure is failed. The intraocular pressure is on the higher side. No leakage from the main wound or side port. And now Subconjunctival injection of gentamicin and dexamethasone is given. And then the superior rectus brittle suture is removed. And finally, the releasable suture is tied. See how it is done. Take three loops, one, two, three. Hold this suture and pull and cut the longer thread near the knot. And your releasable suture is done. So, we are done with the surgery. I think anyone can do this. Thank you very much for your attention. It's a long surgery, but it is a very safe surgery. Whenever you find a patient who has only one eye, and if you don't want to take the risk, risks of fecal emulsification, if the cataract is hard, please do this kind of safe surgeries.